My husband had a stroke 18 months ago and we realised then that as we got older we're perhaps going to need a little bit more help. He's not driving anymore and the time will come when I won't be driving. So putting all those things together we started looking around. 18 months later we shifted in here which has taken a bit of getting used to because they're all old. We discovered everybody's old. <laughs> Leaving aside the financial side of it, it's a very big move. But one of the things we did was ask our son, who happens to be a financial advisor, what he thought. And he said, it's not a good financial move, but it's a lifestyle move. So we sought advice from the people who had been, the families of, of people who had been here, about the goods and bads of the place. We were surprised at the amount of money you lose when you have to sell the place. The maintenance charges, that's another charge and that covers things like the garden maintenance, the outside of the buildings, the keeping the community centre going and I think everybody who is contemplating retirement living has to get all the help from the Consumer Affairs. That booklet was good, I thought. The Consumer Affairs booklet. Mm. Yes, well, we, we went through that. There's a lot of information out there if you make inquiries and get it. And you just put all that information together before you make the decision.